I was blessed to be the first person in my family on either side to actually graduate from college. Well, there were a lot of expectations. They certainly wanted me to represent my family well, and I wanted to do so. I really focused on economics and philosophy. Economics because I had an interest in, in business, but more importantly, I had an interest in providing income for my family, and I thought that that would be an opportunity to do that. Uh, philosophy because uh, I'm just very interested in truths in life, and uh, it's very much influenced uh, the fact that I've gone into medicine. As I left DePaul, I was pondering my career options, and I, and I had several job opportunities, but uh, nothing again that I felt was going to be conducive to helping my two brothers and sisters who were behind me actually go to college. There's a scholarship called the Consortium Award for Graduate Study and Management, and they award 50 scholarships a year to minority students, and I was blessed enough to be one of the, the, the 50 recipients. Robert D. Patterson. And I chose IU because I'm still a homebody and, and a mama's boy and very much a Hoosier. I worked for Eli Lilly for two years after I graduated. I had a great experience there. And again, I'm confronted with all of these people who I thought were these tremendous servants who were doing something that I felt a calling to do as well. It came to me through prayer that this is what I was supposed to do. So the next day I get to my office, I have all this work waiting for me, and uh, the first thing I did in the morning was to pick up the phone and start inquiring about what it took to become a physician. And uh, I found out that it took two years of, of preschool because I, I had no uh, science background and just committed myself to doing that and enrolled in Northwestern University within about three weeks. But upon hearing about the scholarship, I was informed of who Dr. Rawls was. Immediately, I, you know, I had a base level of respect for him. But upon meeting him and really getting an understanding of the type of man he is, I felt personally responsible to make sure that I lived up to the type of leadership that he had projected in the community. It was important to me because I was so excited about having my name associated with him that at least at some point in time, he would feel at least comfortable having his name associated with me. I hope that I, I've lived up to that in the last five years. I've tried to do things within the community which I felt were consistent with his vision, and I think for the most part we've been uh, lock and step. I felt that there were some opportunities to diversify not only the student body, but the thought of the current student body who are non-minority, and that's one of the things that I tried to do. The Diversity Week is something that we created where we tried to bring in national speakers and have them talk about health care issues, particularly uh, health care disparities issues for minorities. We also sponsored the Doctor Back to School program where every month we would actually go to a high school and talk about our experiences in an effort to try to encourage them to become physicians. We had a lot of projects, but the biggest thing that we did was we encouraged each other. We work with each other on not just our schoolwork, but on our own individual struggle to make sure that we were accepted and that we provided support to each other. We need to make sure that we have physicians who are indeed are very compassionate and can bring out those fears that patients have so that they'll feel comfortable. That the patient-physician relationship is very important to the point where it can really affect health care. You can have a very competent physician, very compassionate in dealing with his patients, but if he doesn't have a cultural competency to develop an effective relationship with that patient, then you're not going to have the type of health care that you need to have. And I'm hoping that all of the things that we do here, the raw scholarship and developing more minority physicians who have this background, which may be more in line with their patient's background, which could help them with adequate health care. I'm certainly hoping that that's the biggest outcome. But also, just having more students on campus and more minority physicians in the area, what you do is you educate the people around them. You educate the physicians who are around them. You educate the students around them, and they become more culturally competent because they've had an opportunity to dialogue with people not like themselves. So you're serving a dual purpose. You're helping minority physicians become doctors, but you're also helping those non-minority physicians become better physicians themselves. And I think both of those points are extremely important if we're going to effectively defeat this healthcare disparities issue. It's still a shame that in this country where we have so much technology and so much knowledge and so much skill that the infant mortality rate today of African American infants is two and a half times non-minority patients. 
that's a tragedy. And it's particularly a tragedy when you think about the fact that it's been this way since 1964, and it's remained essentially unchanged. A lot of minority students accumulate a lot of debt. They're pursuing lucrative careers. Being a physician, you certainly are going to earn a substantial income, at least substantial from the type of lifestyle that I grew up. But it's also important to realize that with $200,000, $300,000 worth of debt hanging over your head, it can influence the specialty that you go into. So when you give to the Raw Scholarship, what you do is you provide students the opportunity to come out of medical school with less debt and to truly go into a specialty, an area that they want to go into. And it's my personal belief that a lot of these students will go into primary care. And it's additionally my belief that a lot of them will stay here in Indiana as I have, and I plan to.